always a reminder for myself and how to so that he full skills on jihad. But for the grace of Allah that they're still in existence and alhamdulillah Allah granted us from Ummat al-Muhammad and Ummat al-Haqqaiq, the nation that carries the realities and the truths of the heaven. Alhamdulillah for the holy month of Safar in which is the month of the cave, the cave of Rahmah and mercy, the cave of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and from all the teachings over the years it's Manzil Qur'an, it's the house and the location of the Holy Qur'an. So it's a cave of Holy Qur'an in which the Qur'an is guiding in the heart of Prophet and that that Qur'an guides the entire universe. And that Qur'an guides the destiny of this year and the way of marifah the ways of haqqaiq and alhamdulillah we entered into the month of Safar and that becomes the guidance from Surat al-Kahf and that is from the guidance of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Alhamdulillah Surat al-Kahf is the oceans of reality leaving badness, entering goodness. And we talked the night before that the realities of the cave and then what Allah is asking from us is an entryway into understanding testing. That be like the dog of Ashab al Kahf that have the good character and loyalty, and Allah then gives for us an understanding, it's going to be tested. Rocks are going to be coming towards that person to test their good qualities and their good character and their demeanour and that to have good manners and good character is supreme in this understanding of the cave. How Allah draws our attention to these that it's not all the other things that people are thinking that are important for Allah not the salah, not the zakah, not the fasting, none of those usul and none of those are being drawn attention to as much as throwing rocks at a dog. Because if the character isn't good and the foundation isn't solid, everything else we build on it is on shaky ground. What the purpose of salah when the person has bad character? What will be the benefit of zakah if the character is bad? So Allah draws our attention to that before anything can be built it has to be on a, on a foundation that established from the heavens. And that foundation is in good character, having the, the best of character, having patience and everything that life sends to the servant to be patient, to have sabr, to, to show the best of, of character, the sweetest of fragrance, all of the refinement of the people of paradise that we would expect paradise to be. Because most people look at people and say, why have you, if you're the people of paradise, I wonder what paradise is like, how are you violent and angry and, and, and always grumpy looking. Nobody wants a paradise like that. So most people look and then say, oh I would rather run away from paradise. So the example of paradise must be so beatific and, and, and such a, an exemplar of realities and that's what Allah is drawing our attention. This is what Prophet Azim as a title and then the Prophet said that I've, I've been sent to perfect the character of insan. So alhamdulillah the month of Safar is its reminder that Allah is going to test us. And the night before we talked about the testing from Jamali that you get tested in life and tajalli comes and it's a Jamali tajalli, it's a beatific, it's a beatific tajalli and people cry and they say, I cry a lot when I meditate and that's Jamali. But what is more important when rocks are being thrown 
is Jalal. That Allah what he described of the character of the dog and he, and he uses the example of the dog to show that the, the lowest example has access to paradise. So that don't make this about elite people but that everybody has access to Allah's paradise and the character of this dog before even knowing anything of what's happening in the cave, the guard of the cave Allah said, if you would have just looked at him you would have had fear and Hayba is dressing that, that creation which is Allah's majestic power. When it dresses something people look at it and have fear. It doesn't have to even speak to you, it doesn't have to be aggressive with you. When Allah wants to dress a creation with Hayba and a majestic and, and mightiful dress that puts fear in everything that looks at it. And that's, that's what Allah that's what only Allah inspire within all our years of, of learning this path is that this Hayba is important for you. To understand this path and to understand why to be patient during testing is because Allah want to dress with a dress of Hayba. And Hayba is, is a Jalali, it's a might, a majestic dress. So we said, imagine that if a Divine Fire was going to enter into a room right now, a Divine Fire, people wouldn't be crying, they would be screaming and yelling because the fire that comes agitates everything. So imagine if there are hidden animals and rats in a room and they're just hidden from sight but all of a sudden you have a device that turns the frequency on and everything starts to go crazy, everything starts to go angry, scratching and crawling at the walls. And that's what a Jalali Tajali is, that it comes with a Divine fire, a Divine might and when it comes on holy nights and comes on the occasions that Allah wants to send these types of lights, well it makes everything to become agitated. And that's the night in which people fight and yell and get angry and, and every type of example in their character is coming out and what they're showing Allah is that they are not capable of carrying a Jalali Tajali. And to carry a Jamali Tajali is not going to, it's a beautific Tajali, it's not going to defend us against difficulty. You can't send a beautific Tajali to scare devils away, they're just going to cry with you. What are they going to do with your jala, Jamali Tajali? But the Hayba that comes is like a fire on the soul in which your light, you're lit, the energy is coming, it's a, it's a very it's a very powerful energy comes. That energy that comes out that burns away everything in its proximity of negativity. And that's the one that Allah wants for us to catch. That's the one that requires all the training on these nights and to say that I'm being agitated because now there's a Jalali Tajali coming on this night and everything around me is being agitated because the Tajali is coming on to me. So wherever I'm going everything around me is agitated by my mere presence. But you're thinking wrong, you're thinking that everyone is agitating you but you're the source of its agitation. Does it make sense? Because if you don't know you're admitting that light, you say, why are people bothering me tonight? Why everyone's saying, oh I'm just going to get angry, everyone's bothering me. No, if, you're, if you understand your spiritual path Allah say, no I'm going to send a light upon you that will agitate everything around you because you're carrying that light. And as a result if you get angry you lose that ability to carry it. And then Allah will test again and test again and test again and that's why the path is based on these adabs and these mannerisms in which Allah is going to clearly define within the next few ayats of Holy Qur'an. I think from verse 60 begins the example of Sayyidina Musa and Sayyidina Khidr that when you carry these tajalis, carry the testing, carry the difficulties 
and to be dressed by them then Allah dresses that upon the soul. You completed that and then now you're ready for the next level of Jalali, next re- level of Jalali until your soul is capable of holding these Divine fires and you become very Jalali and lot of Hayba, a lot of majestic light that emanate from your soul as a result of that. And that's why Allah wounds from us is it's not about you correcting people, setting things straight, the fixing an example, it's nothing to do with that. This is about Allah saying, I want you to receive this dress, these lights, don't, don't worry about anything, don't worry about correcting anyone, be patient and do the practices. As a result you will carry these lights and this hayba. and that's why the example of Qitmir is so powerful for Ashab al that it gives you the strength in which Allah says, just the mere sight of you would put fear into people's hearts because of the dress that Allah is going to, to give upon that servant. Then forget about from that point if they speak or if they look or what they hear, all the other dresses are just immensely more powerful. But this dress of hayba is important in these days of difficulty, we pray that Allah dress us from them and bless us from them. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us a, a life in which to see these holy nights. The birth and wiladat of Imam Musa Qazim salam and the immensity of its lights and blessings. One of the sons of Imam Jafar as-Sadiq salam that Allah inshaAllah dress us from his lights and his secrets mm-hmm. and to make us inheritors of their love and the love for Sayyidina Muhammad and the love for Ummat Muhammad inshaAllah bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.